Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Gwenpool issue one. Before I start talking about Gwenpool, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know episode 142, and that show will review all the comics I've read this week in one show. And here are the exclusive comics we have Earth 2 Society issue 11, Legends of Wonder Woman issue 4, Heartthrob issue 1. All New X-Men issue 8, right? Yes, Starfire issue 11, Guardians of the Galaxy issue 7, Batman Superman issue 31, The Amazing Spider-Man and Silk issue 2, Spidey issue 4, A-Force issue 4, Black Canary issue 10, Jupiter Circle volume 2 issue 5, Web Warriors issue 6, and Weird World Issue 5. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know, Episode 142, which is annotated. But let's start talking about Gwenpool Issue 1. Uh, so this is a book I was, uh, you know, looking forward to reading. Um, I read the special, the holiday special, and it was, uh, I wanted more Gwenpool. I was like, oh, I thought this was going to be a Gwenpool story. And it wasn't. Uh, and then I heard she has a backup in Howard the Duck didn't read Howard the Duck, so I didn't get to read that. But um, I wanted to give issue one a try, see what this character's all about, and let's see. Uh, the cover's pretty cool. We get to see all this random stuff being thrown at from Gwenpool. It's very bright. I like the artwork. It's kind of a random cover, but you know, she's pretty random as a character, so I think it fits. Uh, and I'm talking about the interior artwork. Now, there is a prologue, um, to the story, where I think uh, the artwork for the prologue is a little dark. Uh, I didn't particularly love the artwork there, but it was, it was only a couple of pages. And then we moved on to the really bright and action-packed uh, artwork for the actual main story. And I, I loved how cartoony it was. It really fit for the humor. Just want to show you the part where she just puts money signs on her eyelids. I thought that was pretty funny. And I like how it's very much like a camera focus. So if you can see here, um, it's like a camera where you get to see the focus on the person and then you have the out of the depth and field in the background. So uh, I really like that art style and that attention to detail. Um, so yeah, it kind of seems like a movie, which kind of fits for this style of storytelling. Now let's go into the actual story. Um, so with this issue, uh, we're not really introduced to why Gwenpool's doing all the things she's doing. We just know she wants to be a hero, but she's okay with using a gun. Um, and she meets up with this hacker guy when she almost gets arrested by this guy, uh, or by the police officer. And then there's this random occurrence of the police officer saying, Hey, I don't want to do this anymore. Go, uh, which was a little bit too convenient for me, but uh, yeah, she, so she meets up with this hacker, uh, and they're teaming up, they're trying to do these missions, get money, she's a merc with a mouth, kind of, right, she's a lot like Deadpool, uh, but by the end, she doesn't really do a good job, she doesn't actually kill anybody, she allows someone else to do it, and she gets the money anyways, uh, but by the end, she has to team up with MODOK, because the shocking ending is that MODOK kills her hacker friend, the person you think is gonna be a supporting character for the series, who's not, and she is, uh, now a henchman for MODOK, who's like, oh, I didn't want to do this, but now I guess I have to, uh, so, you know, the fun part about Gwen Gwenpool is that I like that Gwenpool knows that she's in a comic book and not in the way that Deadpool knows. Like, Deadpool's from the universe of a comic, so he just pokes fun at the fourth wall. I think uh, somehow Gwenpool does the fifth wall in a way, even though that doesn't exist, but uh, she does in a way that she's like, yeah, I'm actually from your universe, so I totally know this is from my comic book. So she ones up uh, Deadpool. But my biggest problem with this book is it's very Deadpool. There's not a lot of differences besides the one that I mentioned. Uh, she knows she's in a comic and she's not from this universe of the comic. She's from our universe. That's the only difference. Everything else, she's like, oh, I want to shoot people or I want to be a hero. And I'm not going to tell you my origin story, but uh, which I think she definitely should tell an origin story because that's, I think, going to make us easier to hook onto the character. But... 
I did like the twist in the end where we find out that she's not going to be a hero, that, the, again, the supporting character you think will be a supporting character throughout the series blows up in one issue, uh, so I like that. Now, am I saying I'm totally hooked with this character? No, I don't know how long I'm going to keep this on my pull list, but um, I'll probably pick up issue two. It gave me enough to say, hey, I'll pick up issue two, mostly because of the cliffhanger. Uh, the rest, you know, it's a little bit slow, but there's some good comedic moments, which you kind of need in a series like this, so quite pull issue one. I did give it three and a half stars. It just made three and a half, almost three stars, but I thought the artwork was really well done, and that's why I bumped it up to three and a, uh, three and a half stars. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I say give Gwenpool a try and see if it's your um, taste. If you like Deadpool, it's kind of a similar tone to the book. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later.